love coming home Because you need a place to stay And I've been feeling Welcome back to BT. Home economist Carly Dutchmensky joining me as we're looking at a couple of different fabric ideas and how oh, well, maybe just a little bit of change in, the, in what your clothing is made of can make a difference, especially when it comes to the summer heat. Absolutely. We'll start with the classic cotton tee. We want yeah. to do uh, plus and minuses there. So we've got the cotton tee here. It's nice because it's, it's got a fitted material here. And it's great for going to the park or going for a walk. It's good for light to moderate activities. Yep. Um, it's a cheaper material, easier to wash, easy to use. Easy to take care of. Absolutely. And our model looks smashing in it. Absolutely. So then we want to talk about, though, changing things a little bit and going to, well, maybe a little more expensive material, but getting the benefits of uh, moisture wicking materials. Yes, so this is a moisture wicking. As you can see, it's a little bit of a softer material. It's a little bit, <laughs> it's more lightweight, more durable. And it's great for when you're working out in moderate to heavier physical activities. It's going to actually pull the sweat from your body and bring it to the surface of the material. And then it's going to dry off the material. It's going to evaporate the sweat. So you're going to feel a lot more dry, a lot more comfortable when you're working out. So what is it actually made of? We call it moisture wicking, so we know what it does. But what is actually in there? It's made of a polyester or a liquor blend. Okay. So it's a couple of materials put together and... Yeah. And a little more expensive and a little bit lighter. As far as uh, taking care of, though, not too much more complicated than the old cotton. No, it can be washed regularly. I would worry about putting it in the dryer, but other than that, it's durable, easy. And usually, uh, at least I find, how expensive the clothing is, is uh, how much you have to read the label. Absolutely. And, but you are going to get more out of it. It's going to last longer. It's going to keep its shape better. And it's available. It's get you a bit further. When it first started coming out, we were only seeing it in like high performance stuff, uh, cycling, running, and things like that. But we're seeing it in more and more things as well. Absolutely. You can have it in, we've got it in a golf tee here. We've got the t shirt. We even have a hoodie here. Oh, nice. And it's great opposed to other cotton hoodies because it is a lot more of a lighter weight. And it's great for layering. It's always easier, I say, to layer a couple couple things of a lighter material mm -hmm. other than one heavy material because that way you can just start taking off layers as you work out. And that's what we've done with our handsome headless model here. I'm sorry, what's his name? I've forgotten. This is Jeffrey here. Jeffrey, okay. And Jeffrey's got there, again, a couple of layers so he can peel things off as the day goes because we know it's Manitoba. The weather changes Absolutely. all the time. And we tend to overestimate when we start working out. We think, you know, we need a lot more heavier materials, but then after you're done your warm up, you you want to start taking off some layers, so. Yeah, and it's nice that, you know, some of the times it's got the sheen, but this one's actually got just, it looks like a good old-fashioned cotton tee. Absolutely. And we still got that moisture wicking ability. We still keep things cool, and we still get things going. we got to say thank you very quickly, if we can, of course, uh, to the Bisons and their supporters as well for all our lovely models. Thank you, them, absolutely. They've been great. They, they take orders well. They stay in spot. There's lots of great ideas. Yeah, absolutely. We've got lots of info on breakfasttelevision.ca. You're going to take a break. We've got plenty more coming up on BT. You guys were awesome. <laughs> I'm Courtney Ketchum.